Hello everyone, this is the daily devotional video for February 7th, 2017. Our passage for today is 2 Timothy chapter 1 verses 1 through 11. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, according to the promise of life which is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve with a pure conscience, as my forefathers did, as without ceasing I remember you in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see you, be mindful of your tears that I may be filled with joy when I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you also. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the... Sorry about that, that's my phone. Sorry about that. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord nor of me his prisoner, but share with me in the sufferings for the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began but now has been revealed by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, <coughs> excuse me, who has abolished death and brought life and immortality to light to the gospel, to which I was appointed a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles. title for today's devotional is When Spiritual Passion Diminishes. Do you feel yourself growing cold toward the, toward the Lord? As His children, we can never lose our salvation, but it is possible for our spiritual passion to cool. Today's passage reveals that even Timothy experience a decrease in his excitement for God. That's why Paul wrote to him, encouraging the young pastor at Ephesus to fan the flame of his faith. Spiritual cooling can happen to any Christian. Oftentimes it starts when tragedy or disappointment diverts our attention. Instead of crying out to the Lord and finding shelter in Him, we gradually stop reading the Bible. The Word of God is like wood in a fireplace. The flames can be kept alive only when there are logs to burn. As we spend less time in Scripture, other aspects of our relationship with God are affected. Church attendance diminishes, giving becomes sporadic, and prayer, which seems increasingly stale, is only used for emergencies. At this point, we may find ourselves unwilling to stand up for what we once deemed important. The temptation to compromise can lead to guilt and defensiveness about how we're living. Finally, the joy, contentment, and peace of God are replaced by worry, doubt, and fear. 
a believer who allows himself or herself to drift will miss out on the comfort and the fulfillment of a close, vibrant relationship with the Lord. Think back. Is your excitement about the things of God stronger now than ever before? Or has it diminished over time? If your fire needs stoking, ask the Holy Spirit to show you how. Ugh. Every devotional is just so challenging and just so motivating and inspiring. I just, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I learned so much from this. I'm going to go and go. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Be kind to everyone you meet. You never know the battle some people are fighting. Um, and take time every day to read God's word, to talk to him and let him talk to you. Don't make it a one-sided conversation. Let him talk to you. And um, I love you guys. I'm going to go ahead and go. And I will see you again tomorrow.